All right, B. Slade, the mic's hot. Back on the Muay Thai Metal Show. I'm Ron Mano. He's the infamous outlaw, Byron Slade. And we have yet another rock royalty member in our presence today. We ran into him down at a Baltimore Orioles game. It's the craziest thing you'd ever want to hear. We see the guy. It turns out he's a founding member and the drummer of the band Suicide Puppet. So we start talking and we say, hey, it happened. his name happens to be Veritas Suicide. So we're like, Veritas Suicide, Suicide Puppets, right? And he's like, yeah. You want to come on the Muay Thai Metal Show? He said, when you want to do it. We said, let's do it Monday, October 10th. And so here we go. Without further ado, drummer, founder of Suicide Puppets, Mr. Veritas Suicide. Veritas, welcome to the show. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. This is awesome. It's very cool to have you, man. What do you say we take it back to the beginning? How did this band start? How did it come together? And then we'll kind of gradually get into what's going on right now. I will let yeah. you talk. Oh, man, there's a lot of history here with this band. So the band actually started initially in 2005. Okay. Uh, Twisty and Johnny, so the lead singer and the bass player, actually started the band out to begin with, but it was called Fine Art of Hate. Um, they had got booked for a like hate rally but because of their name. They're like, whoa, 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 this is not what we're about. <laughs> so that kind of like dissolved real fast, and some of the other members left, and then Johnny and Twisty were left alone, like, well, what do we do? So they uh, decided to start a new band, and then they brought me on, and the name... <laughs> suicide puppets name i wish i had a much cooler story to tell you about it about how it came to be but like back in the day you could do like uh engines like uh engines that would like just generate band names right so they they just kind of did one of those and suicide puppets was the name of one of the names on that list so they took it and then they just ran with it uh so yeah so the the band name is just kind of just one of those weird things but now it, it has more of a meaning to us now um because suicide is like a real, like, you know, fucked up boat. Oh, sorry. Suicide's like a real thing. It's okay, man. It's, it's internet radio. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no regulations, especially when you're talking to serial killers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, but uh, ser- uh, suicide's like a real thing of life. We're all just puppets in this game of life as it is. So Suicide Puppet Spring has a whole new meaning to us now. I bet. Um, but yeah, so it was Johnny, Twisty, and I for a while. Uh, we were a three-piece uh, this that all came to fruition in 2007. Uh, and we were three piece for a while, and then Steven Suicide came on, and we had a keyboard player for a long time, Lame Suicide. He left the band, I think. Quite honestly, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember when he bounced out, but he went to go pursue other things. That's cool. Yeah, that was, you guys you know, didn't. He didn't commit suicide or anything, did he? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we? thank God, because he's a, he's a real cool dude, man, and uh, he was great with production and stuff like that. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, he went to go pursue other things, um, and I I had actually moved to Colorado in 2013. Um, I was living out there for about four or five years, and then when I came back to Pennsylvania in 2018, uh, Suicide Promise brought me back on as the drummer. Cool. And, so yeah, so it's been like a, there's been a weird, no, I wouldn't say weird transitions with Suicide Puppets. It's been pretty much the same members, except for when I left. But then when I left, you got Tattoo Aside, or as you like to call him, Captain Spaulding, <laughs> came ah. into the group. Uh, and Donnie, Donnie Von Gallagher, he came into the group, I want to say about 2010, 2011 time frame. Uh, but the core members are myself, Johnny Suicide, and uh, Twisty Suicide. But, I mean, pretty much we consider everybody a core member now, but the original core members are us three. That's cool. That's very cool, man. And you guys formed here locally or, like, you know, Southern PA? Where where did this all go down? Yeah, this all took place in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I had responded to an ad that Twisty had put out. I want to say it was on... Um, it was some like internet thing that was, you know, band musicians looking for musicians. And, um, I reached out to the ad and twisty got a hold of me. He's like, Hey, 
go check out our MySpace page and uh, see what you can find on there music wise. And I, wow. I, I went to, yeah, right. And so I went to it and I found a couple songs that I liked and I liked it because it was different from the other metal bands in the area. Uh, it wasn't like the same old, you know, grindcore or, you know, death metal stuff that's going on. Don't get me wrong. I love those genres of metal. I'm with you. I'm but, with you. Yeah, but they, this was something different that really wasn't happening in this area. So, of course, I jumped aboard as uh, I, you know, I jumped at the chances as quick as I could. And the audition lasted about two minutes. And uh, I remember Twisty and Johnny came over to me at the audition. And they're all like, so what are you going to do with your drum set? I said, well, that depends. Uh, if I'm going to be in the band, I'm going to leave it here. Otherwise, I'm going to take it home with me. And they're like, yeah, well, we want you in the band. I was like, all right, cool. So, <laughs> nice. It's been nice. a match made in heaven ever since. Or I guess hell would be the proper word to use. <laughs> it certainly is. If you're just joining us, we are sitting down with founding member and drummer from the band Suicide Puppets. His name is Veritas Suicide. And I think it's time, Veritas, that we let the Muay Thai listeners hear Suicide Puppets for the first time. We got a couple of songs, you know, queued up, if you will. See Me, Twilight Zone, Shell Shock. Which one you want to drop first? You know what? This is our newest one that we just released a couple weeks ago. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Twilight Zone, which is our cover of Golden Earrings version of Twilight Zone. And what's really cool about that song is John Bechtel from Ministry does all the keyboard and synth parts in it. Whoa. And AC Slade for Ministry. Oh, I'm sorry. AC Slade from Murder Dolls and Dope does the beginning intro talking part on it. Wow, that is very cool. You heard the man. His name is Veritas Suicide. The band Suicide Puppets. The cover jam is Twilight Zone from Golden Earring. You got it here at 97underground.com. Baltimore's pure rock worldwide.
97underground.com, Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide, The Twilight Zone, done by the suicide. Ron, you're puppets. scaring me. I know. It's it's a badass jam. It's obviously of a, a cover of a golden earring classic. And the reason you're hearing it right now is we're sitting down with a little Harrisburg, Pennsylvania rock royalty gentleman named Veritas Suicide from the Suicide Puppets. Veritas, welcome back to the show. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. Listen. We were running up on the song last time, but the minute you said where you guys were from, I have to ask because I've heard it's been going on for quite some time. Is Harrisburg still the hotbed of rock and roll metal that it was, say, going back to the early 2000s? I'm going to say yes, because some of the bands that are coming out of here, uh, coming out of this, just this general area, are just fantastic. Um, That's cool. Yeah, I, I, it's yeah, it's definitely a hotbed for rock and metal in the, in this area. Like, there's um, there's a, a, a I'm gonna plug this band here because I think they're they're a good bunch of kids. You go for um, it, man. There's a band called Nailbite. Uh, I think they're out in like the Lebanon area. Um, they're doing very very well for themselves. They just got done playing a whole bunch of circuits uh, for the festival circuits that Danny Wimmer puts on. So they just got done playing what like Louder Than Life. I think they're out at Incarceration. So those kids are they're they're killing it, man. They're doing a good job. I'm happy to see them doing well. Uh, you have Eternal Frequency. They're doing a good job. Uh, Defiant. They're 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 decent. They're a pretty good rock band out there. Like just it's, it's, there's just so much talent coming out of Central PA at this point. Um, like it's just, it's, you'd be crazy not to hop on somebody at the, you know, and listen to somebody coming out of central PA. No doubt about it. I mean, it's, it's been huge for a long time. As a matter of fact, even, even the York area had some, some pretty big, you know, big acts coming out, didn't it? Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think fuel came out of York. Uh, I think the band live came from York. Yes. Live did come Uh, from York. And then a big one out of the York area, Hailstorm. I mean, they're from Redland, but that's the same area. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, and who doesn't like Lizzie Hale? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. Well, let's get back to your band. What's going on right now? New songs, new album, talk to us. Yeah, well, we do have a new album in the works. Uh, the Twilight Zone that you just played, that's the first single off of that new album. Uh, we're still in the studio tweaking some things. Um, we're hoping for a release date by the beginning of the year. That's what we're shooting for right now. That's cool. Um, we do have something exciting happening next year. I can't dive into it too much, uh, but um, our fans will be pretty excited once we announce it. Um, so just keep a lookout for that. You know, If you follow us on all of our socials and stuff like that, you'll definitely hear about it soon. And Veritas, without giving your secrets away, it has something about Suicide Puppets touring, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yep. I know we've had a lot of people reach out to us asking when we're hitting the road again. But, yeah, we are going to be touring next year. Um, yeah, that's about as much as I can say about hey, that. Hey, I got you. we got to keep them in suspense, man. Go ahead. B. Slade wants to ask you something. Mr. Veritas. Yes, sir. It says here uh, you guys won some awards at the Central Pennsylvania Music Awards. I do believe that 97 Underground attended those awards. That is correct. Um, what awards did you win? So the I think this is its it's coming into its fourth year of this happening. Mm-hmm. So the very first two years of the Central Pennsylvania Music Awards, Suicide Puppets took home Best Metal Band two years in a row. Wow, that's, no that's awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. That's actually very cool, man. Hell of an accomplishment. Ron, check this out. It says they shared the stage here with 69 Eyes, mm-hmm. Sumo Psycho, Napalm Death, Dope, Otep, and Mushroom Head. Dude, you played with Napalm Death? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, man, that was, uh, that was a long time ago. Uh, it was at a venue called the Croc Rock in Allentown. I don't even know if the venue's still around. Um, yeah, that was, I think there was time, the time waits for no one album that they were promoting the Napalm Death. Dude, that was a, that was a cool show. It was cool to hang out and jam with those guys. I bet it was, man. Well, you know, you got, you rock stars. I mean, you guys hang out with one another and you, you know, you kind of know this guy and you sat in with that guy. I, but I gotta ask, 
have you ever hung out with C.C. DeVille from Poison? <laughs> I, I have not. Um, but the, the Dude, coolest you just, hang... you just got roasted. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. You were about to say something, Veritas, so finish uh, your thought. No, I, the coolest hang for me uh, in my career so far is this last tour we did with Soulfly. Being able to hang out with Dino from Fear Factory, because Dino was playing guitar for Soulfly on that tour. Nice. And like, I've been listening to Fear Factory for, ever since I was a kid, like late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah, um, but being able to hang out with Dino and just chat with him was like super cool. Like uh, I would, I would love to have hung out with Max Cavalera, mm. but Max is he's kind of a recluse. He kind of hangs out by himself, which is cool. You know what I mean? I get right. it. Yeah. Uh, but everybody else in that camp, in the Soulfly camp, and like everybody's fantastic. Gloria, uh, Mike, Zion, Max's son, and of course Dino, and even their stagehands were great. Uh, I we couldn't have asked for a better uh, group of guys to go out with. No doubt. Well, I tell you what, man, we're having a lot of fun talking to you, Veritas. But it's time to jump back into the music. If you just joined us, sitting down with founding member and drummer from the band Suicide Puppets. So now it's time to hear Suicide Puppets. What do you what do you think? Shell Shock? I think that's a great idea. I do too. You're hearing it right now on the Muay Thai Metal Show at 97underground.com, Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide. <laughs>
97underground.com. Baltimore's Pure Rock. Worldwide, the station your mother warned you about. And the Muay Thai Metal Show giving you a jam called Shell Shock. The band Suicide Puppets. You may be asking yourself, why am I hearing Suicide Puppets on the Muay Thai Metal Show? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because we are sitting down with a founding member and the drummer of the band Suicide Puppets. His name is Veritas Suicide, and we're going to talk to him one more time right now. Veritas, welcome back. Hey! hey. (laughs) All right, man, we got a little more time to chat, so we need to talk about where our listeners can find you guys. Social media, Facebook, website, where can we get the Suicide Puppet swag? I'll let you talk about all that. Oh, man. So uh, if it's social media, we're, we're there. So we have Facebook, Suicide Puppets Band. Instagram is Suicide Puppets. Twitter is Suicide Puppets. Uh, we actually just started a TikTok not too long ago. Nice. Yeah, that's also Suicide Puppets. I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, um, dig it. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm not I'm uh, not there yet. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it, once you learn one social media thing, then you go to another, you're like, no, i got to learn all the int- intricacies and nuances of this stuff. But, right. Um, but you can go to suicidepuppets.com, which is pretty much your portal to all of our, uh, our social media sites. Uh, for merch, you have to go to puppetmerch.com. Nice. And there you get t-shirts, hats, patches, stickers, you know, the whole nine yards. That's cool. <laughs> That's very yeah. cool. You there? You all right, Veritas? Everything good? You got a, you got yeah. a frog in your throat? <laughs> choking on my own spit. <laughs> it happens. What the it, hell? It, it happens when you're talking a lot. I get it, brother. You grab yourself a cold beer, man, and wash that down. But, uh, no, it's – it's honestly, Veritas, thank you so much, you know, for, for being so gracious. We know you have a super busy schedule, um, but thank you for being on the Muay Thai Metal Show. Go ahead, B-Slade. Ask, ask him about See Me. You want to ask about that song anyway. We're running out of time, Ron, but we got to get one more in from Suicide Puppets, See Me. Yeah, so tell – Tell us about that song, Veritas, and then we'll, we'll go into this thing for our listeners. Well, real real quick, can I plug something real fast? Yeah, dude, it up. it's your time, man. You plug what you need to plug. Uh, so the next show we have coming up locally is uh, Sunday or Saturday, October 29th at Love Giraffes in Mechanicsburg. No way. It's a Halloween show. There's a costume contest going on. That's uh, first awesome. First place gets a $100 tattoo gift card. Second place gets a $50 tattoo gift card. And third place gets a $25 gift, uh, tattoo gift card. That's very uh, cool. Yeah, so there's that. And also, the whole month of October, myself, I'm going to be premiering on a uh, podcast called Minefields Podcast. Okay. Where we're going to be doing what's called Psycho of the Week. Nice. We, we take a serial killer and we talk about him. But this month, for because, you know, it's, it's October, the month of Halloween, um, uh, the serial killers that we're choosing, we're actually going to read from their manifestos. <laughs> dude, wow. dude, that's trippy as hell. That is really yeah. cool. So, yeah, so please, you know, if you got the opportunity, please go check out Minefield's um, podcast. So th- this is crossbreeding here, Ron. It's suicide puppets, but they're serial killers. <laughs> okay. All right, but listen, Veritas, <laughs> you got... <laughs> You got it. You get. You have to give me the name of that podcast again. Slow. You got to remember one in the air, so our listeners have to be able to like write it down. Oh yeah, Minefields Podcast. Oh, Minefields. Is it Mind M I N D or M I N E? Um, M I N E. Minefields. Like Minefields. I need to clarify that, Ron. It's th- th- they're they're emulating serial killers. <laughs> yeah, right. So at the same, I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I, I I'm seeing some Michael Myers somewhere in the future of this. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to look up Minefields ones. Is it Spotify? Yeah, it's on Spotify, iTunes, the whole nine yards. All right, yeah, Google Podcasts and all that good stuff. All right, cool. Again, thanks so much. Well, listen. I didn't realize you had a local show. I know you have the big announcement you have for next year coming up when you guys go on tour. Any more shows after the October 29th show you want to promo? Anything before Christmas? Are you guys done pretty much after that? No, I mean, we are focusing pretty much on the album for the rest of the year, but we do have one more show at HMAC uh, in downtown Harrisburg, November. I want to say it's November 11th, and that's a Central Pennsylvania Music Hall of Fame event. All right, cool. Cool. Good deal. 
If you're just joining us, you missed it, so you're going to have to listen to the Encore show next Saturday. But if you're just joining us, just sat down with founder and drummer of the band Suicide Puppets. His name is Veritas Suicide. Veritas, final words. Give us a give us a, a shout out and a goodbye to our fans. And we're going to jump into the last track from the new album called See Me. I'll leave it up to you, dude. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me on, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and as our bass player always says on uh, our podcast, which is the Puppet Cast, which you can also find on uh, Spotify, he always says, live fast, die young, and live every day like there is no tomorrow. I couldn't agree more. You've got it right here at the Muay Thai Metal Show. It's Suicide Puppets. The song See Me at 97underground.com. Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide. <laughs> 